What's up guys? I'm Ryan with Ryan Epps Fishing and on today's video we back out here on Douglas Lake. Now we don't have a lot of time today. We got to find them, catch them, put them in a boat. But I think it's doable. We got some storm clouds coming in. Fishing's been tough but they ought to be eating a little bit. So ought to be a good time today guys. Y'all sit back, relax. Hope y'all enjoy today's video. Here's the deal. We don't have a ton of time. We got storms coming in. Looks like we got a storm coming from that direction. And we got one coming from that direction. We got a couple hours to fish anyway. So, we are gonna run a few banks here and kind of just hope that we get lucky. Fishing hadn't been real good here lately. Um, on Cherokee this morning, I think I put two fish in a boat, and one fish, I don't even remember. They were they were small, I'll tell you that. That is a heck of a rain cloud up there, I will tell you that. It is coming down hard. <laughs> Man, that is going to be a wet mother right there. go all right Old drop shot right there in the roof of the mouth just like you want a douglas lake large mouth got a little school of them right there just lost one actually broke off on the shaky head and uh pitched the drop shot out over there next cast got that one so we'll get us another worm and see if we can get these things fired up. Get us another one.
Got him. Boom, baby. Whew. He ain't no giant, but I will take him. There we go. All right. I think they finally starting to eat a little bit. I had to really make some adjustments to get them to we're gonna go ahead and retie i tell you what we don't have is a ton of time but should have had four fish in the boat really broke one off i didn't get a good didn't get a good hook set in that other one that we lost there on the little swim bait and then we put two in the boat so i think they're here like i say they was there was quite a few of them on the graph but god just painfully slow to get them to eat Normally, I'd never sit on a school this long, but it's going to be like this. Most most places that you go, most spots you're in, they're, they're going to be like this. It's, it, you know, dog days of summer, in that funk, pressured, pressured fish, really got to work on them to get them to eat something. Lost that one. <laughs> That's how fast it happens. shaky head right there Woo! making progress oh I like that Woo! I like that them days you know what I mean <sighs> what do you do <laughs> I don't know we don't lose a pile of fish so, I guess every now and then you do a day like that. That's three. 
That's three we done let loose. Got him. guys let's talk about what worked today before we get struck by lightning here that was an ugly couple hours of fishing but we got out here found a little school of fish uh, nothing too crazy but uh, it did have did have enough there that that we could catch a few of them and uh, it wasn't easy I'll tell you that basically I knew we didn't have enough time to run around and, and find anything else so I just sat there the whole time uh, once we went over them and found them there and uh, it took me quite a while to get a bite out of that school of fish uh, Ended up having to just pick a spinning rod up and just lock that thing in my hand the whole time we were out here and uh, Basically there were two baits that we put fish in the boat on and the biggest player today Was a shaky head all right now, the first fish that you saw me catch, that was a 3 8 ounce standard ball head Berkeley shaky head, okay? The first fish that I actually hooked out of that school, I actually broke it uh, trying to boat flip it up in the boat on a six pound line. Snapped the line there, lost my last shaky head. And I don't know if y'all have actually went and tried to buy fishing tackle here lately, but them shelves are a little bit barren. Uh, it's getting obnoxious. Um, <laughs> you can't restock on hardly anything. So, we lost our last 3 8 ounce shaky head and we had to drop down to a quarter. Now, that quarter ounce has got a smaller hook in it. I don't know if that played into us losing several fish there or not. It didn't help matters, I can guarantee you that. Um, but, they were still eating that quarter ounce. Now, the bait that I was throwing on there y'all see me throw this bait on a shaky head a lot i believe we talked about it uh, in our last video is strike king super finesse worm it's a last tech very buoyant worm floats um works really really well on a shaky head probably my favorite worm to throw on a shaky head now what i did was it seemed to me like these fish wanted a little bit smaller profile so I took my scissors and just trimmed that up. So now instead of the size of like a zoom trick worm, now you've got the, the size of a, your basic like zoom finesse worm. Uh, color, I really don't care, honestly. Um, right now with the way inventory is at the tackle shops, a man can't afford to be real color picky. You know what I mean? This color right here is watermelon red flake. Um, I really don't care. As long as it's some kind of watermelon or green pumpkin, that's really all I'm looking for. Okay? Um, that red flake in there, I don't think that matters one bit whatsoever. Uh, red is the first color to disappear in the color spectrum once you get down to a certain depth. So I that red probably don't even show up anyway uh, regardless whether it does or not it ain't enough for me to care so watermelon green pumpkin anything in that uh, that color spectrum there um, I think they would have ate it now what I'm pulling my drop shot on we finally got a replacement for the ducket ghost um, that I was throwing my shaky head on they got snapped in half um, got a replacement this is a ducket micro magic pro medium 
I do like a little bit heavier power rod uh, for my shaky heads. Uh, it's just a personal preference thing. I, you know, I'm going to throw anywhere from a quarter ounce, three eighths ounce shaky heads on this rod right here. So the rod, this Ducket Micro Magic Pro Medium, works really well for that. Uh, I've tried throwing them on my drop shot rod, which is a Micro Magic Pro uh, Medium Light. It's a little bit too light for me uh, for the feel that I like on a shaky head. Uh, so. The medium works really well. Now, on my Ducket Ghost that I don't have anymore, that was a medium heavy. But I picked up this medium in the Micro Magic Pro, and uh, to me, this rod feels very, very close to that medium heavy in the Ghost lineup uh, that they don't make anymore. Uh, so, medium power works really well. The reel that I've got on here, that's a Daiwa Fuego LT2500. I'm sold on the reels. Fantastic spinning reels. If you don't want to sink a ton of money into a spinning reel, you can pick up these Daiwa Fuegos in the $100 range, and I guarantee you, you're going to be happy with them. I've got two of them. I have been more than impressed with them. Uh, for somebody that's not wanting to go out and drop two, dollars $300 on a spinning reel, that Daiwa Fuego will get the job done. Very, very good affordable reel. Now, now the line that I'm throwing on here, six pound fluorocarbon. You can vary that up. Sometimes I'll throw eight. Sunline's got some funky line pound test. Sometimes I'll throw five, seven. But six is a great all around line. Just don't be trying to boat flip them all the time on it. Okay? There ain't nothing wrong with getting down there in the floor of the boat and lipping one. Okay? Don't be boat flipping them constantly. Especially if you don't retie it. There's some, some nicks and stuff on that line. You barely got them anyway. You're going to lose some fish. I'll tell you that right now. Just pay attention to what I do. I do some ignorant stuff. We lost some fish today. We should have put more in the boat. That's irritating. It gets on my nerves. I don't like losing fish. But you did see me catch one more fish on a drop shot. I don't think that had anything to do with what they wanted today, to be honest with you, because I only got one other bite on it. Basically, what I think happened was, is uh, we broke that one fish off, and uh, his buddy was sitting right there next to him, and he was just tore all to pieces that his buddy done got him a meal, and he didn't. So rather than take the time to rig that shaky head up, I was afraid that uh, I was afraid there was probably another one over there uh, that was butt hurt over over not getting a meal there. I flipped the drop shot over there, and was able to pick up that one fish on the drop shot. Uh, the worm that I've got on there, like I say, I don't think it had anything to do with it. But that's just a basic finesse worm. Very comparable to a zoom finesse worm. Uh, but this right here, this worm is called a softy. Uh, this is a, a little uh, smaller tackle shop out of the Lanier area, uh, Atlanta area down there around Lake Lanier. Uh, Lanier baits. Is, is what that is and I use their drop shot weights as well they call that a mortar weight I've been very happy with that weight it does good uh, sinks really well uh, falls straight I've been happy with their products I'll probably start using some more of them uh, in the future um, but you can check them out online they got a website uh, and been pretty smooth dealing with them there ordering them stuff here and there so that was the deal today we had a couple hours we come out here lost some fish showed you what not to do but we were able to put a few fish in the boat so i ain't gonna complain too much we are gonna get to the house before we get soaked or electrified out here all right so that's all i got for y'all today guys if y'all like the videos make sure you go hit that like button Hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. It's going to let you all know when I put out all my new videos. If you got any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. I will get back to y'all with any answers I can give you. Until next time, y'all make some time. Get out there on the water and catch you a few. I'm Ryan Epps. Y'all have a good one.